we have been joined now by a reporter, Jayashree, uh, who uh, has more details on this. Jayashree, tell us what are you picking up? You know, there is, of course, the SEBI angle. There is also, we understand, brokers, and there could be some sort of notice against them. What are you picking up? Well, that's right. Uh, uh, if you look at the entire matter at how SEBI has sent a show cause notice uh, to financial technologies, we are looking at an entire issue where they have raised an issue that why uh, following the action by FMC, uh, SEB, uh, a financial technology should not be directed to divest its entire stake in MCX SX. And this is also based on the Section 20 of SECC, that is Securities Exchange and Clearing Corporations Act, and where they are trying asking them to divest their entire stake. And they are going to be replying to this entire show cause notice on the 26th of uh, December of this month. And apart from that, they have also raised the issue that why the integrity and the honesty of uh, financial technology should not be questioned based on FMC's order. Now, if you look at the Section 20 of SECC, it clearly states that if any other regulator has any kind of an adverse finding on, uh, on uh, some, a matter that has an adverse bearing on the securities market, then they, they can be barred from having any holding in any stock exchanges for a period of three years since the time that order has been passed. And if, if you look at the FMC order, it clearly states that yes, uh, uh, if uh, Jignesha and uh, financial technology is not fit and proper to have any holding in MCX. So clearly after following that, this is a ripple effect that has come out because of these. And now uh, clear, it's very highly likely because of these kind of uh, observations coming out of FMC, SEBI, if it finds this uh, the answer to the show cause notice unsatisfactory, then SEBI can go ahead and pass an order.